from that fund. A proposed pawn shop ordinance would require stricter guidelines for shops buying from customers. KOMU 8's Jacob Kornhauser tells us how the wording of the ordinance has other secondhand stores worried they'll be affected too. Maybe 10. Stacy Allen has been working at New Beginnings in Columbia since 2000, but a proposed ordinance could change the way she's been doing business. Uh, on the paper has been vague to the point of if we were to just take it at face value, the way it reads, yes, it very much does include us. It seems her business is included in a so-called pawn shop ordinance. As it is currently written, it would also apply to her secondhand clothing store. It would require her to buy equipment, such as a camera to photograph clients she doesn't already have. We're talking about something that would so totally change the way that we do things that we would have to seriously contemplate whether the cost would be worth staying in business. Traditional pawn shops wouldn't have to change as much, but a store owner in Columbia says he has a problem with one aspect of the proposed ordinance, which aims to catch people selling stolen items to secondhand stores. The whole, you know, stand back and take your hat and glasses off so I can, so, you know, and, and hold your merchandise up. Yeah, it's, it's a little intrusive and I think it's, um, I think it's almost picking on pawn customers um, before they've done anything wrong. Alan, Trim, and others will have a chance to voice their opinion right here in City Council Chambers at 7 o'clock on Wednesday. What they say there at the public hearing on the ordinance may just influence the wording of the final version. So we're willing to work with those people to work out something that will work out uh, for all the businesses. We realize that we have anywhere from the smaller shops to the bigger chain uh, stores, so their, their ability to afford these things uh, can vary. With hope of getting her problems with the ordinance resolved, Alan, for now, just wants to continue business as usual. Jacob Kornhauser, KMU8 News, Columbia. After the public hearing Wednesday, changes could be made to the current version of the ordinance. Buck said it could take as long as six months for the final version to go into effect.